Hi, good morning. Hola, buenos días a todos. Bienvenido a este próximo video de Royce UE4 Video Tutorials. In this video, I will, con I will continue. Voy a continuar eh, Level Design Tutorial. Uh, perdónenme por tanto tiempo de espera. I do this on my free time. So I hope you are enjoying my previous videos for UE4 for new users. Now we're gonna continue uh, UE4 level design tutorials and some basic of environment artists too. So I hope you keep learning and enjoying these videos. Vamos a continuar. Okay, so I have opened 3ds Max. That's my preferred tool for 3D modeling. And I will model some stuff over here and take it to a real engine. I'll show you how to do that stuff. It's super easy, real quick. So I hope you have uh, watched my last videos for uh, Unreal Engine. 3ds max for new users in these videos I cover In this video right here, in this playlist, if you can go to the playlist, right here my my friends you can watch these videos I show you how to uh, model as uh, like a wow ladder and how to UV map that ladder and take it with the uh, diffuse material for 3ds max but today I'll show you Hoy te voy a enseñar cómo eh, <coughs> llevártelo para un real ya modelado y texturizado. So let's continue. Ok, so aquí I will do I have my 3ds Max set for fit with fractional inch that's architectural measure so I'm gonna have a box voy a, voy a hacer una cajita aquí verdad voy a ponerle la medida algunos nueve pies de alto este de ancho le puedo poner 22 por ahí and length we can have around 8 see we have a nice wall right there I will do uh, I will hit con alternate W that maximize the viewport or I can go right here maximize minimize maximize minimize now I can go to modify add a edit poly I will write down ED and ED, ¿verdad? Escribir ED me lleva aquí a Edit Poly. And now I have the box, but now I have I can edit the wall. I will add select this edge with shift, I will select the other edge and that made a ring selection. 
I can connect now two edges and spread them away separate them just like that little more oh oh oh, oh wait 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 just two and we're good to go right there now I can I can select the faces right here the polygons and I can select this 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 and this no way I won't select this one and I can extrude right here at the settings I can have local normals maybe two inches right there you see Now I can have uh, OK. I can connect this with one. Hit OK. Select just the new uh, polygon. Hit extrude. Give some extrude maybe three inches okay now we have a nice uh, design for the uh, top of the wall now I have this wall right here I can now press W press shift and then move it that made a copy but b before I do that copy I will rename this right here right here I will rename this wall. Now I will make a copy. I will rename this. Le voy a cambiar el nombre a esto como uh, underscore single door. Single door. Now I will go to create I create a box and I do my basic human size you see six feet six feet by uh, two right there two width and ten ten inches that's my human so I continue editing right here modifying this wall what I do now is to select the edges edge again shift click click and then shift click sorry for my people that speak Spanish perdóneme mi gente que habla español yo sé que ustedes saben ambos lenguajes inglés español so. yo practico mi inglés y ustedes también practican su inglés so. but if you have any comment write it down all right, so I'll do a quick connect right here too, with two a two, and that's like two doors, not single door. So I will have it like this right there, right there. It looks like just a single door. I hit OK. I press number four on the key keyboard. That will select the polygons, and I select this, this. Hey, check this out. This wall. It's bothering me so I'll select this one right click if you uh, notice I have canceled the polygon that was the um, yellow so I cancel it I right click hide on selected and I have the wall so I click number four right here then with shift I can select all this but I don't want with alternate I deselect this one okay with alternate so now I can delete this now I can go to edge 
select this, this, this edge, this edge, and select this edge and this edge, and hit bridge. You see? Now I can select add and I can select this and this this and this and select add and the same for this side lo mismo para este otro lado y selecciona ok now I have a single doorway See? Now, if you want, you can have this, copy it again, and rename it, single door with beam, single door B, because now what we can do is, most of the doors have a beam, ¿verdad? Una viga aquí en español, un beam aquí, beam, so... What we can do is select this and select the other edges and hit connect. Just have one, zero, and we can move this. Oh man. Sixty-seven, seventy, right there, right there is good. Seventy, and hit plus, then select this and this, and have minus seventy or negative seventy, and that will be at the same uh, measure, and hit OK again. Okay. Now we can select those polygons right here. Or we can just select this and this and select bridge. And that will make a nice bridge. Hit OK. You see? But we have this stuff that is not good. We have to make sure it's not there. Okay, now we're good to go. So now we have single door, single door with beams, with the same model. I like color gray. So I have a wall, I have a single door wall. I have single door wall with beams, ¿verdad? Con una viga ahí arriba. I have passed my 10 minutes limits video so let's end this video I hope you're enjoying I hope you're learning let's get with the next video where we continue doing these quick level design models in 3ds max for Unreal Engine 4 hi I'm Roy welcome to the next video for 3ds max and Unreal Engine 4 level design tutorials we uh, continue modeling those contemporary assets to better know the workflow from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4. Okay, let's continue. Now I have this door, this door, this wall. The thing is that I can keep doing this the whole day 
I can rename this single door beams with window window brother no window window and I can have the same again I can select these edges these edges hit connect have zero here have two spread them just like that that's good hit ok then have this this hit connect just one and maybe uh, I think there is good let me see no that that that's too high right there okay and now I can select the polygons right here with number four select this polygon this polygon this polygon and this polygon delete them select the borders you see number three borders select this 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 border and this border and hit bridge and we have a wall single door B window now I can copy this I can copy this and paste it here but see what happens it's like all mess up I can delete the first one and then what I can do is just to uh, delete this right here and I have a single door wall window wall I just need to bridge bridge this let me select ignore back facing that will help me to not mess up my model and hit OK now I have single door window uh, single door window uh, let copy this copy because I forgot to uh, meta copy before editing this uh, box okay now let me do again the stuff you select this 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 delete it let me select this edge right here control backspace let me select the other edge control backspace let me do a bridge here let me select this uh, polygon right here and let me fix this select this edge this edge this this edge I have some vertex right there so you see this this vertex so control backspace will delete them now I can select this 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 and this you see 
and hit bridge. OK. Here we go. OK. Now I have door, door with beams, door with beams, window, door, window. And you can keep, keep just doing some different uh, models with the same one. I can have like five more just from these uh, five walls that I have here. So let's end this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video for Unreal en uh, 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4 level design tutorial. I hope you're learning. Hi, I'm Roy. Welcome to the next video for Real Engine 4 and 3ds Max level design tutorials. Me la bienvenido. Perdóneme porque, uh, eh, porque lo que no habla mucho inglés. Estoy hablando más inglés, pero yo sé que lo que sabemos español sabemos inglés. Así que bear with me. I hope you. Yo espero que estén aprendiendo. Let's continue. So now I have this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now what I can do is select these two walls right here, made a copy, and rename them as single window wall single window. And this one I can have it as wall windows. And what I can do is select this, this, this. Nah, that's a waste of time. I will delete this. I will I will copy the first one. Right click copy. Select this, paste. Now, what I can do is just to ring select this right here. Ring select. I can connect two edges, separate them, move it up like I think. Right there. Right there is good. Just I see like two feet. That's that that that's good. Okay, I will select this edge. Hit Control W. Oh, sorry. Alternate W. And I will move up this to here perfect so now I will connect this I have zero here that's a big window maybe right there yeah that's good okay hit number four select this select this uh, Delete, hit number three, select this border, this border, hit bridge. Now I have a single single window wall. And with this wall, I can just hit number four, select this, 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 this. This and this. Delete. Select this bridge. Right here, 
select this boulder and this boulder hit bridge here we go I have two wall two window wall see pretty easy yeah Okay, let's continue. Now I can have I can have a copy of this. I will rename this as roof, and I can select. This right here, chief extrude. I rename it as root two, and I can select this make it a root of four inches. Right there. Hit OK. Now I can turn on this. That's see the angle snap. Turn on the snap. Make sure I have the snap toolbar out here. Snap toolbar right here. Snap and select endpoint snap. And I can move this. Wait, 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 wait. Let me cancel the polygon. I can move this here. Here we go. And now I can press S. S is the shortcut to turn on and off the snap. Now I can select this. Delete this wall because I don't need it. Now I can continue doing my roof. Let me rename it as ceiling roof. And I can select this and extrude it like I don't know. Five feet. That will that will do 10 feet but I can have 6 feet and that will do 12 yeah like that I, I like this one more ok now what I can do is of course close this cap right here and I can subdivide this hit connect have two hit ok so divide this the other way and I can have two as well I will select this and this And I will do a bevel. I will have zero here. Right there. I will hit add. I will have zero here, and I will have yeah. That that that's good. I will hit OK. I will select this border right here oh 
sorry this and this then we have I mean it's true not that few 416 it'll do now I have lights I have this light and this light and I can select this light grow selection and I can make a copy of this light ceiling light now I have a new light that I can change his uh, model his view let's end this video let's end this video vamos a acabar este video gracias por ver este video espero que les esté gustando espero que estén aprendiendo espero que estén cogiendo ideas estoy modelando algo contemporáneo para llevárnoslo para Unreal Engine 4 ver, ver, version 4.7.4 I think so I hope you're learning I hope you like it, ¿verdad? Espero que les guste. See you on the next video. Hi, I'm Roy. Welcome to the next video for Unreal Engine 4 for new users and 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4. Level design tutorial. I will continue modeling this contemporary assets for Unreal Engine 4. I have my little guy right here. This is my base model. I have a 3ds Max set to fit with fractional inch. Those are architectural measures. So the last thing I did was to copy this light, so I can have different de designs, like the one I'm gonna do right now. So I can have, like, yeah, like like 6 hit o, hit plus and I can have less less uh, I think 3 I can have 3 and now what I can do is I will copy this again you see that the pivot is down here the pivot for 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 the light what I do is go to hierarchy right here, select affect pivot only, and center to object. That's it. I can continue modifying my ceiling light. I will copy this uh, ceiling light, ceiling light uh, square. Why that this was square and this one not square? Oh, you'll see. Now I can select ignore back facing and I can select all those edges right here. Just this one. Make sure I haven't select other. So what what I can do now is extrude them. right there nicely done you see and now I'll do this one but different I'll select this, 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 this. All this and this, and I do bevel. And when I do bevel, I will select by polygon right here, and then I will hit zero here. And then I hit plus, and then I hit zero here.
OK. See, I have two different types of lights. Pretty easy, huh? Now I have this light, I have this light, and I have the first basic light right here. Alright, let's continue. I have wall, I have uh, this light right here. Now, what I can do is just to copy this and rename it as floor, go to hierarchy, affect pivot only, center to object, go to modify, and here we go. Now, what I can do is to delete all those edges. Control backspace. And now I can select grow delete control backspace. Just 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 delete. And I can now select those edge. Just delete them and hit number three borders. Select this border right here and hit cap. Here we go. We have a floor. So the same goes for the floor. You can do same stuff all over again. I can copy this floor. I can subdivide this floor just by one. Now what I can do is to select this, 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 and this. Now I can have a chamfer right there. But before I do that chamfer stuff, I will extrude this. One inch by one inch. Here we go. Okay. Now I'll we'll select this, 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 and this, and chamfer. Just one inch. And here we go. I have a floor. I have a floor slab. This floor slab can be used only for the uh, interior of this building. So I, c I think I can move now for a real engine. I will texture these walls later. Not now. Now I just want to take this inside of real engine. So let's end this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learn it. I hope you like it. See you in the next video for Real Engine 4 for new users and 3ds Max for Real Engine 4. Level design and environment art. Some some environment art design skills. Hi, I'm Roy. Welcome to the next video for Real Engine 4 and 3ds Max. Uh, se me olvidó. Level design for 3ds Max and Real Engine 4. 3ds Max 2 on Real Engine 4. Today, right now, this video will be taking this into Unreal Engine. So check 
how the pipeline works okay what I will do right now is to delete my guy I, I don't need this guy anymore he served me well but instead of delete it I just hide it that's it now I need this toolbar snap toolbar the snaps toolbar is this one right here and I need you to know about angle snap and snap because what I do is go to hierarchy select affect pivot only select this wall and I will with the uh, move tool I will move the pivot for the wall to this right here the same with this one. Oh, sorry this pivot right here this pivot right here this pivot right here you see easy peek yeah this pivot right here same for this one same for this one you see same goes for the roof right here or right here you no matter same goes for the floor right here and right here and same goes for the uh, ceiling lights right here and right here so I have the pivot lining up where I need it in a real engine. I need those people to be on that corner. What I'm gonna do right now is to take this wall. I will copy this wall. Oh sh sh let me cancel the snapping stuff. I will copy this wall right here. And I rename this wall as column. Column and I will put it small like this and a little bit forward like this let me hit polygon let me select this polygon grow again deselect 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 here we go and now let me select ignore back facing let me select this 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 not this one I made a small stroke it I believe it was two inches and the top part this one here we go I have a column and uh, have the pivot right there Before going to Unreal Engine 4, I'll show you a quick. Uh, you can do some quick bending stuff right here. Check this out. I will rename this Wall 90D. 
and I will uh, connect this wall with at least eight subdivisions. Now let me do more. Let me do twelve, and I can go here, cancel this. You see now it's not blue, blue, not blue, blue, not blue, and I can have the band modifier. And I can write down 90 right here and change the direction. You see, it's going down. I just need to hit the plus, go to Gizmo, hit E, and rotate this 90. Now I have a 90 degree bending wall. Easy picky, huh? I have a corner wall with 90 degree, and I can copy this and rename it, rename it 180 degree wall. Just write down 180 here. Nice, huh? Just, just nice. Alright, so now let's select all of this but our little guy. Hit W and I have all the pivots on place. I just need to write down 0, 0, and 0 right here. 0, 0, 0. And all of them goes exactly to the center of the grid. Of 3ds Max. Now I have all of them, but a little guy. A little guy is right here, and I can select all of these. They are to scale, architectural scale, and I can select all of them. And I can go here, export. Export selected, go to a desktop, make sure to use FBX format. All this stuff that I'm doing works too for Maya and Blender and any other uh, modeling that you are using. Modeling software. I write down right here. Uh, Buildings. No, 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 no. I will write down. Yeah, yeah. Building underscore. You know why? Because after the underscore goes all the names of every single object that I have modeled in 3ds Max. So I'll have building wall, building wall, window, building wall, blah 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 safe. And smoothing groups, triangulate, embedding media is off. Okay, we're good to go. So now I have on the uh, desktop I have this building stuff and I can go right here to the content create a new folder right click new folder rename it as contemporary I don't know if that's cor cor a correct spell but contemporary assets and in that folder I will have this building when it goes plus then you release the click of the mouse it will ask me what I want to do I want not to combine matches and the import uniform scale you need 
to have it on three. If you are doing exactly the same things I'm doing, that I'm using architectural measures on 3ds Max, you need to go this to three. So dudes assets coming here with the right scale and proportions. Then you have three, not combined, no generate collision, no material, no textures, just import all. You see all those mistakes, all those warnings, because we haven't done the UVs. We are just getting this stuff inside the engine. And now we have it inside the engine, save all right here. On the next story, or maybe I can cover uh, how to uh, do some UVs for these walls. But you are welcome to see these video tutorials for 3 ds map for new users from 01 to all of them and you will learn believe me how to uv map your stuff okay so let's continue here let's end this video thanks for watching thanks a lot hope you're learning hope you like it see you in the next video hi Welcome to the next video for 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4 for new for new users. This is the continue of level design. Now I have some assets that I made on 3ds Max. You see how it says building ceiling light, building ceiling roof, building column, building floor, building wall, building 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 building. building. Just like I said, now I can double click, like, let double click this one, and I have the wall right here. I can hit F and then alternate and then click, and I can rotate, like if I were on 3ds Max or Maya. Now, this wall doesn't have collisions. What is a collision? I'll show you real quick what is a collision. I can have this just right now, this wall right here, okay? And if I play, I can just go through the wall, you see? But this wall I can go through because these walls have collisions. You get it? But mine doesn't have collision. So I'll show you real quick how to have collisions. You hit double click right here, it opens the static mesh editor. You go to collision and you can just hit box simplify collision and you have a collision. But what what's wrong? You can go through the door. So what you have to do is to move this right here. Then hit R, scale tool, put it smaller. Here we go, you see? You can just leave it like that. You have a window hole right here, but what about if you want to go through the window? If there's no window, so just move this downwards. And hit R again. And put it small. And here we go. Hit W, move it up, and that's it. We are good to go. Hey, mine goes all the way to that, all the way to up. Make sure you have. 
degree snap off or just on one and on make sure you have five degree angle snap and make sure you have 0 0.06 scale snap okay now I can alternate move this now I have two now I can alternate move this right here and just do the same thing all over again I can copy this move it up scale it And here we go. I can go to collision box simplify collision. Move this right here. Ah, you know the drill. Like the American says, you know the drill. Now you can copy this. Let me put it smaller. Copy this here. here and here here we go it's safe close and now you have your wall with collisions on it You see? So, I hope you're learning. Thanks for watch. So, check this what you can do now with all this stuff. You can have this like right here. Then I can click and drag a wall. I can rotate the wall 90 degree. I can move the wall, put it in right here, you see, I can copy this wall, hit, right click, transform, transform on X, and I can move this wall right here. see and I can have a single window wall right here nice huh just just nice And I can have a
I forgot to rename this floor. Let's hit F2. Let's have this floor slab. Hit save. And I have this ceiling roof. Let me delete this ceiling roof and drag it in again. Here we go. This is what I like. You see with snaps at one with a grid on it'll be easier to have stuff fixed. Okay. Now I have a ceiling right there. And I can copy this. And I can copy this. And uh, maybe I can just hit R and scale this. And that's it. You see how fast I prototype something? This is called modular design. So I hope you like it. I hope you're learning. See ya on the next video for Unreal Engine 4 for new users to uh, 3ds Max for Rip Man. I confuse. 3ds Max for Unreal Engine 4. On, on the next tutorials, I'll be uh, covering some texturing too texturing so I, we can have this wall textures on Unreal Engine so I hope you're learning I hope you like it thanks a lot for watch and for staying tuned bye